Acupuncture is an age-old healing practice of traditional Chinese medicine in which thin needles are placed at specific points in the body. The main purpose is to treat the cause or origin of the condition rather than just managing the symptoms. Dry needling is mainly used by the Western medical profession such as doctors, physios, etc. Acupuncture on the other hand is used by Chinese medicine practitioners often used singularly or in relation to other TCM modalities such as cupping, gua sha, herbology, etc. What is the difference between dry needling and acupuncture? Both dry needling and acupuncture involve the insertion of thin needles into certain parts of the body, but the similarities stop there. Dry needling is mainly used for symptomatic relief or release according to Western medicine diagnostics. Acupuncture gets to the origin or root of what caused the symptoms and uses a 360-degree TCM diagnostics. Traditional Chinese medicine also known as TCM uses different perspectives to analyze health problems, the eight principal patterns. The five elements is another of those approaches. Each of the elements correlates to specific organs in the body, time of day, season, emotion, shape, sense, color, etc. Research suggests that it can help relieve pain, and it is used for a wide range of other complaints. Acupuncture can be beneficial in that. Performed correctly, it is safe. There are very few side effects. It can be effectively combined with other treatments. It can control some types of pain. It may help patients for whom pain medications are not suitable. Consultation is done according to these TCM methodologies and principles not to be confused with a Western medical diagnosis. Dr. Jeff Lan may request medical diagnostics when and if needed. For example, MRI, X-rays, blood tests, etc. Acupuncture is a great alternative to traditional painkillers after surgery, and it can even help cut your recovery time in half. Acupuncture and alternative medicine have been used for thousands of years, so it's no secret it's an excellent natural option to relieve the pain that comes with surgery. Is acupuncture good after surgery? Because surgery is traumatic to the body, maximizing a person's emotional and physical well-being is advantageous for a good post-surgical outcome. Additionally, acupuncture can also help with many other side effects of surgery, including postoperative nausea, vomiting, constipation, urinary retention, and headache. As you continue acupuncture treatment, you'll notice that your pain decreases and other symptoms gradually improve. You may find that acupuncture effects can last a week or longer, and you can schedule appointments less frequently. You will probably be advised to have one to two sessions a week for the first two to four weeks. According to your progress, it'll be decided if you need to continue at this pace or if you can be switched to once a week. Once the condition is resolved, you will be able to suspend the acupuncture sessions. Acupuncture works period. The stimulation releases endorphins into the muscles, spine, and brain. Your body changes its response to pain in reaction, and your symptoms lessen. Acupuncture also stimulates blood flow, which can help relieve circulation issues and repair nerve damage. Does acupuncture work immediately? There is no universal response to acupuncture. Some people feel relaxed and may be a little tired. Others feel energized and ready for anything. Some people experience an improvement right away and for others, it can take several treatments before noticing a positive change. Why do I feel worse after acupuncture? Sometimes following acupuncture, some feel worse before they start feeling better. People can feel tired after acupuncture. A more common result is increased energy. The fatigue after acupuncture is your body telling you that it's depleted. What happens if you move during acupuncture? Moving your body while acupuncture needles are in place is not going to kill you. The pain is nothing excruciating, usually, just a passing twinge that immediately subsides. And with some points, you could wave your arms and kick your legs in the air without feeling a thing. Does acupuncture release toxins? 
Acupuncture works as a natural diuretic and helps the body to eliminate toxins in urine cleansing organs such as the kidneys, colon, skin, and liver. The process is believed to balance of qi, pronounced as qi, which is an important life energy force that creates nourishment and alignment of body functions. Can you drink alcohol after acupuncture? It is best to avoid drinking alcohol or taking recreational drugs after treatment. These things unbalance your system and so will stop you from getting the full benefit of treatment. Since alcohol and coffee both cause dehydrating effects on the body, they should be avoided after acupuncture. Alcohol and coffee mess with your bodily awareness. One of the main goals of acupuncture is to bring greater clarity and awareness to how we really feel. How often should someone get acupuncture? The number of treatments depends on your condition, its severity, and how your body responds. Most patients have an appointment once a week. Others get treatment more or less often, depending on how long the effects last. Your acupuncturist will recommend a schedule that is right for you. What does it mean when acupuncture hurts? Once a needle reaches its intended depth, you're likely to feel a mild, dull ache or a slight tingling sensation. This may be a sign that the treatment is working and the acupuncture point is being activated. You may also feel a heavy or electric sensation. Feelings of warmth may arise at the acupuncture points. Why does acupuncture not hurt? Acupuncture needles are solid, stainless steel needles that are usually not much larger than a strand of hair. Acupuncture needles go between tissues, making them less painful. Does acupuncture help with anxiety? Acupuncture stimulates the body's natural feel-good hormones and reduces the level of stress hormones like cortisol. Studies show that acupuncture is an effective treatment for anxiety with fewer side effects than medications. Does acupuncture help with inflammation? One well-researched effect of acupuncture is reducing inflammation throughout the body. Acupuncture stimulates chemicals that reduce swelling and quiet unwanted immune responses and allergic reactions. Does acupuncture help the thyroid? According to the World Health Organization, acupuncture can be used to treat thyroid diseases, and several studies suggest that acupuncture and TCM can be beneficial in treating hypothyroidism. Can acupuncture help with digestive issues? Pilot studies have shown that acupuncture is effective in a wide range of gastrointestinal disorders including nausea and vomiting, functional disorders, irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, and diarrhea, peptic ulcer disease, Crohn's disease, postoperative ileus, and even gallstone disease. Is acupuncture good for sciatica? Acupuncture has been shown to be an effective treatment for sciatica without the side effects of prescription pain medications like NSAIDs and muscle relaxes. It is also a safe, non-surgical treatment option that can relieve sciatica pain. Is acupuncture good for back and neck pain? Results from a number of studies suggest that acupuncture may help ease chronic low back pain, neck pain, and osteoarthritis, knee pain. It also may help reduce the frequency of tension headaches and prevent migraine headaches. Acupuncture for IBS Acupuncture is a popular alternative therapy for IBS and other conditions. It's proven effective for treating chronic pain, according to researchers at the National Institutes of Health. Does acupuncture relax muscles? If you are seeking relief for tight and sore muscles, acupuncture is the way to go. It is a powerful and effective therapy that helps to release trigger points in various muscles of the body. What to expect after acupuncture and the immediate reactions? The first 24 to 48 hours. Relaxation. You may feel deeply relaxed which lasts for hours or even for a day. In such a state of relaxation, your concentration may be downgraded. Following conversations or focusing in meetings become difficult, or simply can't keep awake. As modern medical researchers have noticed a higher amount of endorphins, the body's natural morphine in the brain, 
is secreted after the acupuncture treatment that may explain why you may experience a natural high after acupuncture. The best thing you can do in this situation is rest. Take it easy and having a nap afterward or go to bed early. Y0 Your body heals faster when you spend more time in a deep sleep state. Emotions. Some patients would become more emotionally sensitive for a short period of time. I have seen patients cry for hours without any reason. Grieving for something which happened a long ago or become irritated and can't tolerate others. If you're experiencing these reactions, congrats. You are emptying your emotional bucket that is timely and healthy. We all have an emotional container to bottle up our negative emotions from everyday stress. When the container is full, even the smallest drop of stress can make it overflow. That is why disproportionate emotional reactions occur at the slightest triggers. For many, they put heavy covers on the top of this emotion container to hide their emotions from everyone. During the acupuncture session, this cover is slowly lifted and emotions stream out. It is healthy to let the emotions be set free from time to time. You might use this opportunity to start Qigong or Tai Chi practice or pause your life to absorb your emotions. After this period of emotional liberation usually two or three days, you will feel lighter and more content with your life. Pain relief acupuncture is known for its instant pain relief. If you were treating acute pain or injuries, you may experience long-lasting pain relief after acupuncture. However, if you were treating chronic pain, you may notice the pain easing during the treatment session, but the pain comes back after a few hours or even returns with revenge. Do not stop treatments. Continue. In the Chinese medicine perspective, we view energy flow within the body as the electricity would flow in the house, we know it is there, but it's not visible to the naked eye. When there is a short in the circuit the power does not work properly. Similarly, when there is pain, the Chinese doctor sees this as a blockage of energy flow. Chronic pain, to Chinese medicine, is a blocked circuitry system, and power is not flowing smoothly in the body. Acupuncture works as an electrician, repairing the problem of power shortage, so the flow is restored and the pain has gone. However, when the pain, blockage, has been there for a long time, the inner layer of the wiring is disconnected and needs fixing. Like a naughty child who needs to be constantly reminded to change attitude. The acupuncture sessions are persistent to reconnect until all the problem blockages are working again in the meridians. Thus, if the pain worsens after acupuncture does not panic or worry. Take some sensible steps to help calm the pain, like resting, apply a medicated oil, or take some painkillers if needed. It is important for the patient to give the doctor feedback on how long the pain relief lasted and any changes in the pattern or site of the pain. Elimination acupuncture works as a natural diuretic and helps the body to eliminate toxins in urine cleansing organs such as the kidneys, colon, skin, and liver. The process is believed to balance qi which is an important life energy force that creates nourishment and alignment of body functions. By doing a detox or minimizing the toxins your body has to process, you give your liver the space it needs to start processing these toxins again. Once processed the toxins are released into the lymphatic system, kidneys, and blood to be eliminated. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this audio. Please feel free to discuss specific questions when in consultation with Dr. Jeff Lan. Every effort is made to make your experience more pleasant and comfortable as possible where and we are able to do so. We do hope this info share will assist your choices going forward. We wish you good health and well-being.